Rugby is the most popular sport in the region, but the women's game is playing catch-up. Here at Croft Park, the Kelso ladies rugby team are warming up to take on Royal Dick Veterinary College. Run strong, make sure you've got support, okay? Yeah. But despite the enthusiasm you see here, there are only two senior women's teams in the Scottish borders, compared to 17 men's teams. Their coach says they face problems keeping players at borders clubs. Uh, we need funding from the SRU, um, from local councils and government, but we also need the support from the schools, from clubs as well. We lose a lot of girls after high school. They go up to the cities for university and they get into teams there and then they end up staying up at the cities. But we also have nothing between minis, um, which is right through to like primary seven. There's nothing at high school level for them. I'm happy to coach any, any girl, any female that wants to play just come join in, it's a good laugh. Kelso's women's team has been going for two years, with some players from the borders going on to represent Scotland. But why do the players think more women should be giving the game a try? It's a great way to meet new people. It's a great and different way to keep fit. Great social side with a rugby family. It's a sport that anyone can get involved in. MSP Rachel Hamilton is asking for better support for schools and grassroots clubs in the area to attract more women to the sport. What I want to see is I want to see these boundaries broken down. I want us to overcome the challenges that some people find um, in joining sports clubs, particularly in rural areas and also in deprived areas. There's not necessarily the sports facilities available for women, particularly in rugby, to actually go out and have a dedicated match to play. It is hoped that extra funding and support will encourage more girls into the game and see women's rugby really kick off in the borders. Jennifer Cordingly, ITV News, Kelso.